Uh, oh, I don't want to watch the stuff on Impulsive. Let's watch the seven minute video and then maybe we'll watch some Impulsive. Okay. It is like genuine. He took it down? No, what? Oh! No, what? Wait, That's whoa. weak, what? dude. If you put my name in the title and you label it Logo Paul Scam, you're going to get more views. The problem with it is that is that is not true, and I've. It's such an absurd yeah. thing to say about a a year law a year plus long mm -hmm. um, investigation. Also, what's up, Gunner in the chat? What's up, Gabby in the chat? If Shout you're, out. It, I tell you what, mate. If your intent is to optimize your content for revenue, I wouldn't go with journalism. I would yeah. like focus on a long form work that's quite and niche. Buy a slime kit. <laughs> Start making kids content. <laughs> Literally make like four slime videos and then you can retire for the year. Yeah. Versus just making like long form. He's working all the time. He's from the 1920s. Um, stating my case, but I'm going to give some context um, with, with the back and forth that I've had with CoffeeZilla. So here are some receipts. Um, again, just for context, his name's Steven. Uh, the first Got time- Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I rest my case. I've got the receipts. <laughs> Five foot eight. <laughs> After he released his series, um, he sent a misleading email as highlighted in my statement. He invited me on his show to come talk about CryptoZoo. Um, I chose not to do that because it is now clear to me that he's milking this. Again, why would he not? This is. This is big for him. He caught a lot of traction. He gained like half a million subscribers. And I'm sure he got a decent amount of money pumping his Patreon. Um, but I am not interested in feeding into that anymore. So we'll be answering the questions that... Uh, I like that he's uh, saying he is doing a financial scam, basically. He's like, <laughs> sure I did a financial Patreon. scam, but that is also a financial scam. <laughs> That's mean to me. <laughs> Can't do that. They should just ban crime. You ever think about that? Oh, uh, hopefully... <laughs> He was going to ask we me, and you're going to ask me today on this podcast. Um, I invited him on Impulsive multiple times, and he has not responded. My last <laughs> the audience, moment, you know, <laughs> <laughs> shot of the audience. Was, uh, hey, Steven, saw your tweet. Since this entire narrative has unfolded on your platform, I can't imagine you'd having you'd mind having this discussion with me on mine. Of course, we wouldn't monetize this episode of Impulsive. is scheduled for January second in LA. We can consider a neutral location. How's the? I turn the the this volume up for stream. How's the volume now? Please turn up the video even further. Oh, that's a little time, right? If you respond to this email by the weekend, best logs. Oh, no, that's, uh, oh, that's good. He did not respond to me, so. I tweeted that saying I hadn't heard back, so I'd be releasing a statement. And then he sent me an email after I called him out and a text, which I thought was weird, like a cold text. Um, hey, Logan, I don't know why he thought it was weird. <laughs> like, you're famously unreliable and unresponsive. Yeah. I thought it was a little weird that he sent me a text after I called him out for not reaching out to me directly. After he emailed me, um, after he emailed me, DM'd me, uh, and is now texting me, which I think is weird. But I also think it's weird he didn't reach out to me. So and what? I send you one legal threat? No, he did block on, on Twitter, so he couldn't DM me there as well. I clearly I intend text. on maybe doxing you, and all of a sudden you're going to send me a text? Yeah. With the number I gave you? This is like such a childish thing that he made his contact Stephen Capzilla. Oh, oh dude, that's rough. Capzilla, come on. <laughs> that's like uh, when uh, Trump would try and give people, he would try to force a nickname. You know what I mean? Sleepy Joe. Yeah. yeah. You know, put a little more work in. That's like yeah. He's like, Number. people like this one. Also, this entire time, he does the thing where he's like, CoffeeZilla is so talented. He's so good. He's so smart. Except for about me, he was wrong. This time Did around? you notice this time around he was wrong? About every other thing, though, in the in his documentary, about every other person, right on the money. Right. About, every, about every convict that I hired, <laughs> yeah. he's actually bang on. About me, though? Rare miss. <laughs> Rare miss when he talked about me. This is CoffeeZilla. I'm forwarding the same message I sent to your email here as well. Hey, Logan, I saw your tweet saying I haven't responded, but that isn't accurate. I asked you for a comment multiple times over the course of a year. You refused. I invited you on my platform. You refused. You invited me on Impulsive. I refused. We're unfortunately at an impasse, so let me try to get us unstuck here because I think people deserve to hear from both of us. I'd like to offer you a co-live-streamed interview about CryptoZoo to respond on tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST so no one has to travel on the holidays, so there's no editing and just us talking one-on-one. -on -one. This is the most fair and neutral way to do this. I will send you a video link if you agree. Here was my response. I sent him an email. And now this response, Logan thinks he's like killing the game. It's just um, a cap. After I posted my, uh, my statement. 
Hey, Steven, just wanted to put my response to your scam allegations on your radar, link below. Even though you broke laws, hardly substantiated your evidence, fabricated dangerously misleading falsehoods, and wrongfully accused me of scamming my fans, I'd still love to host you on Impulsive, again, unmonetized. It can even be one-on-one. -on -one. The, the you broke laws thing, I don't think stands up. Like, he's, he no, still no. holds on to this, but like, Coffee is in Texas, it's a one-party mm -hmm. state. So I would genuinely also, by the way, despite the fact that he's just, his fifis are more hurt, Based on a lot of the things he said, especially in the vein of like, Stephen wanted to work with law enforcement, but they wouldn't work in. It yeah. is tantamount to the amount of defamation that yeah, his literally, claiming has yeah. been done. And he's just Plus throwing- Plus has no sources. He's throwing this stuff out with no sources and CoffeeZilla <laughs> actually has sources. With the intent of saying, destroying his character. Yeah. Like what reason could you have for criticizing a journalist for say a lack of sources or lying but to defame them. That's what it's yeah. for. Yeah. Also, did he reply to that text message with an email? Um, yeah, texting is weird. Uh, yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's right. That's yeah, right. texting it is, is weird. kind of fucked up in me. Yeah. <laughs> Has to respond it's, and email. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in talking about your workflow, creative process, and of course, CryptoZoo. I did get your email two days ago after I called out your failure to respond on Twitter regarding the live stream invitation. And you said, I asked you for comment multiple times over the course of a year. You refused. Any proof of that? Of course there's proof of that. Or is this another lie? It's like, you know there's proof of that, but then he like moves to the goalpost because he says, oh, I DM'd you over over here. And he's like, well, I don't check my DMs. It's like, well, I reached out to your manager because obviously you don't check your DMs. And he's like, oh, well, you should have reached out to me directly. It's like, which is it? <laughs> like he win. literally keeps moving the, yeah, you should have sent him a pigeon. I, yeah, literally. <laughs> you know what's weird is that clearly he is too insulated to have ever been like criticized on his yeah. uh, communication or optics or stuff and there's no filtering through his pr because if you want a paper trail for this so-called bullshit lawsuit you shouldn't talk like this yeah like you should be as neutral and officious as possible you should be like his email or his text and instead he's just like putting up the two fingers emojis and fucking uh, an, an underline on did you loser yeah. what are you doing does he end it with an emoji a uh, gun, picture of a gun. <laughs> That's right. Mm. With the with the two fingers. <laughs> I'm shy, but I will slay you. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you, people shy. <laughs> Monka ass, I'll behead you. <laughs> My emails and didn't see any, any outreach from you until Christmas Eve 2022. You scrubbed the blockchain for a living and somehow managed to text my personal phone number yesterday. I can't imagine you didn't know slash have my professional email. I do agree people deserve to hear from both of us, but truthfully, now that your motives are clear, I don't feel like feeding into your hunger for clout on your platforms. You've profited off of and gained plenty from me. I've said everything I've needed to- He's like really sticking to that, like, that line. Like that narrative. Or, or, yeah, that narrative. Say, the rest will be handled legally and on impulsive with or without you while we continue to build CryptoZoo. He's like, yeah, someone said he sounds so proud. He's like, and I wrote all these words by myself. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is No one helped me out. This is a, yeah, a three-year-old bringing their crayon drawing to go in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. I yeah. wrote this incompetent email. I did that. It's like when he's just like, yeah, I hired those criminals. Uh, yeah. And that's your mistake. <laughs> no, when he goes, when he goes, uh, any proof of that? Or is that a, this another lie? It's like, you're, this is such a childish way to communicate. Yeah. Like you don't have to like rib. It's like, oh yeah, Mr. Scammy makes scam pants. Are you going to scam me again? Are you going to lie about me again? Any proof? Yeah, yeah. obviously it was just there like, shit, he's being so mean. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, like, oh my god. <laughs> when he wipes his tears away, hopefully he can respond to this <laughs> I got tight, I can't like, see. Time. <laughs> These words. Yeah. Finally fashioned this time. My January schedule is packed. Best logs. Um, why did you sign off as logs, by the way? Just, my, there was a lot of shit for that. I saw that. I saw that. Maybe I think, I think it's easy to pick apart anything I do. It, it, and people thing. are for sure. For it's, sure. it's been happening. The I mean, that's my time. that's my sign off. I've been signing off like that since high school. Like my nickname, like everyone calls me logs. Logan. Logs. My my name is Logan. Yeah. My nickname yeah, is Log. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I love I love him explaining to one of his like longtime co-hosts and friends. My name is Logan. <laughs> Great. Doesn't really defend you. Also, how fun is it that like clearly his friend was being that's weird, and then as soon as he went like, yeah, I always say, he's like, oh, yeah, 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 oh for sure, yeah, no, I always wait, like, dude. The course. amount of like yes minning, like, like the amount of it's like you see how he made such a bad response to begin with because every time any of his friends 
try to challenge them. They go, hey, Logan, do you think like possibly like just like maybe just like as a bit, we can entertain the idea that maybe some people were like upset about not getting their money back. Money like, I don't know. Logan. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> what and, then, back? and then and then he's just like, he's just like. No, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that was no, stupid. No, I was, I was, I was, I was not doing it. I was uh, sorry. I'm actually shy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, listen, shy. I said I'm going to play the other side. The other side's asking why, why logs. <laughs> okay. um, Can we, besides all the correspondence, that's a, a lot well, that, of well, correspondence. That's, that's, that's where we left off, and okay. I do think it's important because, uh, and if you watch my video, hopefully, hopefully you're seeing this. The guy is good. He is a very good storyteller, sure. and he is very, very manipulative. Very manipulative, and he's good. It's, it's um, Gunner says Mike is the biggest yes man ever. Uh, I actually don't hate either of these guys. Uh, for the record, I just do think that Logan Paul pays them, so they like it's like they. What are they gonna do? They're like in between a rock and a hard place. George recently like got into it with Logan Paul over like religion because uh, George is like uh, religious, and um, and George does ask some good questions and bring up some good points, but like immediately folds at the like first sign of pushback. It's George one on the left. Yeah. The entire career off it. Sometimes he's more impartial than not. I think he probably has an inherent bias against me, which is reflective in his work and his, in his piece, which unfortunately has repercussions. If you are perpetuating falsehood and, and, and it's affecting someone's business and reputation, and it's affecting the wrong person's business and reputation, that person may take action. So we, let's, let's right off the bat, as early as possible here, talk about the two definitions and the two things that are at play. One of them being a scam, the other one being def defamation, which can be libel or slander. So <clears throat> if someone scams a person or, or an organization, they deceive them in order to get something valuable for them, especially money. That is the definition of scam. So... Logan's just my, like, my, oh, no, I did that. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. He's trying right. to be so neutral and not be like, you did this. Yeah. <laughs> you know this, you did this. This is such a funny part. He described scams. Everything right? that yeah. he oh, just did. Oh, of course. It, so he was yeah, right. Google Divi yeah, Webster's <laughs> Dictionary defines scam as. Oh, no, no wait. Gives up the I didn't know it was illegal. Of yeah. course that's what I was doing. I wanted the money. This question, and this question was answered in his series. It was a five-second blip that was a part of a, a probably hour long of documentary, you know, filmmaking was how much money did you make off the sale of the car? This is, he's like, it was only five seconds, but like we all know Logan Paul didn't personally make money off of this. Or, 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 or off CryptoZoo as a project. How much money did you make? Yeah, this seems to be uh, the biggest misconception. It's not the biggest misconception. And it is, uh, <laughs> Disappointing that that part was glossed over. It wasn't glossed so over. quickly. Um, it was, and we all know it. Made no money. We know. Zoo. Never sold the token. We know. Jeff never sold the token. We know. And the intent was and, not. And, never and Crypto sold. King did. Only lost money trying to make things right, <laughs> along with everyone else in the project. But no money was made. No tokens were sold. And and and, and Coffeezilla even said that in his series. So to answer your question, yeah. So so why are we even saying this? Question, yeah. Yeah, common misconception that I that he said in the that video. he said <laughs> about me specifically. Yeah, he yeah. lied by saying it. <laughs> no money was made that, by, and, by Jeff or I. And and just back to the flip side, really quick. To me, once I heard that, that seemed just like a a, a kill shot to this entire thing. Uh, not at all. Not to, now I'll play the other side. Sure, and I know I, what you're going to say. There's a ton more. It's very complex. There's a lot of no, 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 no. I, I empathize. I totally, totally see why people are frustrated. I'm fucking frustrated. I've been frustrated for over a year. So I'll, I'll let I'll let you keep going. And, 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 and again, I, are you while we <laughs> made no money on the project, which I think kills the scam narrative immediately. It doesn't. Um, there is more explaining to do. What was your intent with CryptoZoo as a project? I really thought it was going to be the next big thing. It was my first four. In what universe? I'm so sorry. Good. In so what? Good. Have you seen the CryptoZoo art? And what you like? He's about to say he. It's the next Pokemon. He thought it was going to be the next Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a collectible uh, investment. It's going to be like a wise way to spend your money. Yeah. Buying. 
foray into creating a project on the blockchain. My intent was to 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 make the next Pokemon, essentially, you know, oh, on the blockchain. Um, In what universe? It was. It was. It was. <laughs> he doesn't know the Pokemon is a game or older than like three years. Yeah, it was purely good. I put I put seven months of my time, energy, effort, all of it, all of it into this project, and when shit hit the fan, it was it was devastating. It was heartbreaking. I never, I never a- acted with malintention. I mean, a, a- yeah. If you break into some, if you break into someone's house pretending to steal, but didn't steal anything, I'm not a robber. Yeah. I'm just not good at it. Yeah. Hey, hey. No, maybe he. Your Honor, I didn't, I didn't steal a thing. Yeah. No, we just need to give him the dictionary definition of a robber. That's yeah. right. Oh yeah. yeah. I ro- oh, yeah. A He's robber like, is a. Oh right, for the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That makes sense. Oh, kidnapping is when you take the person somewhere else. And they don't want yeah, to be there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. And it was your fault who did. Yeah, that's I right. just said get in the trunk. That's bad. <laughs> that and want, I made them. Does anybody want food? Yeah, I, I just, ate, just I'm ate. good. Yeah. What are you feeling? Yes. Anything. All right, I'll grab it. <sighs> you get something. I'll get something. Um, What's the address you have to get delivered to? Uh, well, it's okay. The mic's muted. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. One, two, we're two we're three, fine. Jarvis Street. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Don't want to do the classic. Oh, hell yeah. What is the classic? You want me to say the name? <laughs> yeah, find out. No, no, How no, far classic and where are they delivering to again? No, the food, the food. What is the food? It's uh, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Ah, yeah. I see. It's from 123 Mediterranean Street by Jarvis <laughs> Avenue. Yeah. At Jarvis. 123, go to the... Uh, oh. Go to the pita. The place. Go to the pita. I really thought it was going to be the next Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> it's absurd that he said it's that, man. It's a great man. comparison. It's crazy that he said I thought it was going to be the next Pokemon. Did you go to Did you Pokemon go to the polls? I did. I That's absolutely sick. did. I kind of want to get back. Could we all together get back into Pokemon go to the polls? Yeah, we could Pokemon We should have done that today. Okay. Yo. It's too cold. <laughs> it is too cold today. Unless you got something in the house. Pokemon go. I accidentally... To the capital. Pokemon goes to the capital. That's actually a good. Uh, that's a that's a good tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. Pelosi go to the capital. Pokemon, <laughs> <Aunt Nancy> Pelosi. <laughs> Pokemon go to the capital. Um, Pelosi yeah, mod. I love evolving my Pelosi. <laughs> yeah, I fed Pelosi a rare candy. <laughs> she evolved today. Someone turned Cryptozoo into a free game for people to use, and it actually works. Oh, really? I eat blue they lives. Uh, what is, how do I find it? What's before it they give it a, um, before they give it a cease and desist. Yeah, before they get the kill shot. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a kill shot to the whole thing. Really, <laughs> the fact that like I looked up the definition of scam, <laughs> and like it didn't seem like you made money, so like it can't be one. Yeah, seven months of my time. Looking at the logo and trying to figure out what it said. <laughs> I cried to zoo. Crop to zoo, no. Creopto zoo. zoo. Creopto. Does this say Maverick? <laughs> Prime zoo. Hey, which one am I? I think I'm Logan, but it could be the other uh, one. Have you seen the video I turned Logan Paul scam into a working game? Oh, that's interesting. Let's go. Again, like, what, what, what was, was the intent to make money? I mean, I, I guess maybe eventually, like, if you're right. <laughs> On your fucking head. Eventually, was, maybe. Did I ever want to make money? I mean, like, I mean, I guess I hadn't really thought of it like that. But <laughs> I just a whole love experience. buying money. I just want to have a game. I love gaming. Yeah, it was yeah. just a game. I really just like, I really just love the subreddit called Hybrid Animals, and I just wanted to like make it's it into, a, into it was like, a fun game where you can make money. What if I made like a bad version of that? Yeah, but like awesome. me personally, I never thought really myself no. of making money. Though. What is that? Then meanwhile, in the text, he's like. 120 million valuation. How do we avoid the SEC or whatever? Yeah. Running a business, I'd assume any in, in intent is to, to, to make money off of it. But like, did, did we did we ever capitalize sure, financially no. off of this? Absolutely fucking not. For people that aren't aware, can you describe the dynamic between the token and the 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 game? Okay. Um. So 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 the idea was this. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea, hear, hear, hear me out. <laughs> <Da-da-da-da>, <da-da-da. laughs> so kind of keep a straight face. It was this. Two buffering uh, logos over his eyes. Yeah, maybe I should give some context to what the game is. Um, 
So you, you, you buy these eggs on the blockchain and you can hatch them uh, into, into what are called base animals. Uh, I think there were like 14 or 15 of them. And then you can breed your base animals with each other to create fun looking viral hybrid offspring that have a rarity scale. When you hatch a rare animal and breed with another rare animal, it yields a rare hybrid animal. That animal then yields and collects a token the longer you hold it. Then when you release it into the wild, you accrue your yield. Mm. Do, does that make sense? That, that, was, that was the concept. Got it. And, and, and it was based off the idea that people could create these fun animals that didn't exist. And this was another part of crypto that, that didn't got ripped apart. People seem to, uh, people seem to, wow, to really dis good. discount the art, which I, I felt truthfully was, uh, wasn't fair. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of in the middle on that one. It was, it, it was very, do you know how, okay, do you it know was how very basic. Yes, I know how hard it is to merge animals that, that do exist into an animal that doesn't exist and make it look like <laughs> <laughs> This concept is so hard, guys. <laughs> That's such a crazy thing to say. <laughs> It is to make a gorilla butterfly that looks like a gorilla this butterfly. This is an original concept. I think he literally might not know it's a game. I think he might think like, yeah, we had to make them fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, we had a team of scientists trying to figure this out. <laughs> any idea. That These gorilla is so little. These are live images. Yeah. A butterfly having sex with a gorilla. Do you know how hard it is? Oh yeah, he's never played a video game where there are animals that aren't in the real world. Yeah. <laughs> Like he watches Star Wars and he's like, "How did they do that? They, <laughs> those are crazy. real animals, huh? Oh, that's why I'm aliens. Like, oh, okay. like I'll just, you're in like, space, you're I'll just say it right now, bro. If you take an animal from Crypto Zoo and like a fucking picture of a monkey wearing a hat and go ask like someone on the street, like, hey, which of these is more captivating to you? Something tells me the, the, the animal that doesn't exist that looks like a real hybrid animal is probably going to win. It, it, even if it looked like a real it. hybrid animal, if you showed someone this shit, <laughs> much wow. <laughs> Versus a monkey in a hat? I mean, seriously. Yeah, look, wow. can ETH eggs hatch yet? Haven't been able to hatch mine since mint. To the moon! <laughs> um... Did if you walked up wow. to someone on the street and showed them, I'm trying to think of like, and the showed them the elephant. elephant butterfly. Bro, which one's more compelling? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The, I actually nine times out of ten, actually one hundred times out of one hundred, say the monkey with the hat. <laughs> oh, sure. yeah. He's wearing the hat. On Kept Reddit, going. hybrid animals and the hybrid animals thread on Reddit is hilarious and has a bunch of likes and people commenting on it. But the moment it's that I really say that, like, it's something that I'm doing, like 50 it doesn't people. work in that context. I think it was shined in a bad light. I think if it didn't have the uh, the negative outline on it, people wouldn't. No, 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 no. It no, no. It's, it's, yeah. it, that was the first for critique sure, that happened. Sure. I actually have a. Uh, I want to ask you something again. I'm just throwing out other people's point of views. I'm not trying to stick a. a I should. Oh, okay, should well, I'm, I'm, no, literally, he's like, all right, all right, all right okay, Mr. Paul, I'm not trying yeah. to, I'm not trying to be a bad guy. Don't fire me. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm just throwing out other people's point of views. I'm not trying to stick a. a I should. Oh, okay, should well, I'm, I'm gonna stick, stick it into you. Uh, I when I'm when I'm looking at this from <laughs> my point of view, bro, I I think you guys are kind of like. You're seeing it from your guys's point of view, which is obvious because it's your point of view and you are not a scammer you don't hurt people you don't do these type of things so it's gonna it's gonna affect your heart because you didn't do that and for the world to look at you in that type of way it's very drowning it feels like you can't breathe because people are already painting you out to be something you're not but put a pin in that over here are people that root for you that look at you like somebody they want to be like they want to achieve like and so when they invested in your project and they're, they're, remember, they don't have our lifestyle, so they're working paycheck to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. That's like, it's the, I just, there's something about the way you said that. They Wait don't have our lifestyle. 
Oh. I'm gonna turn this up again and right. see if it like. So when they go fuck yeah, Logan's involved in this. I know it's gonna win because I've watched this guy win, 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 and win, and I want to be like this fucking guy. So I'm gonna invest my hard-earned money. From their point of view, I get your guys' point of view because you're dealing with a legal team, you're dealing with all the people that did you wrong. But from their stance, they go, "How dare you go and open up two other projects when I just wasted my hard-earned money?" on something that I believed you would do. Mm. So this is a point of view that they don't care what you feel like mm. and what CoffeeZilla feels like. They want to demand answers for their own money. 100%. So what do you say to the people that uh, watched you make um, the, the, the project where you're taking pictures and all the other projects? Yeah. How does it feel for you in your seat where you your team saying, hey, shut up, don't bring this up. We're going to bring this back in the future and all the answers will be explained. How does it feel knowing that you couldn't speak up in time and now you look like this villain and no disrespect, you look like a piece of shit to the people yep. that are like, yo, fuck this guy sitting on millions of dollars, always trying to get attention and now he doesn't give a fuck about us so he's not going to speak out about it until this other fucking dude's going to speak out and now this cocksucker is going to talk now. Great question. These are just his opinions. <laughs> the answer is fucking heartbreaking, George. I'll get emotional even speaking about it just now, right now, but this is what broke me. He's going to cry. He's gonna People cry. relied on me to create a project. And when shit wasn't working out and I found out the extent of just how bad things were behind the scenes, I had to rely on my team. I crumbled internally. And the advice was while actual legal process was going on because of criminal investigation taking place that CoffeeZilla highlighted in his series... I had to stay silent. And for a fucking year, I'm hounding Jeff. Hounding Jeff. How do we make this right? What's the status of the game? But they Where don't are see we that. at? They don't see that. That's crazy. The engineer stole the code. <laughs> What's the status of the game? Who was hired by a fucking a dog con with a man. <laughs> guy that I found out so to be a con man. A guy that I had. All, all the bears wear? All the... <laughs> Tries to find out his shit about his own game. <laughs> Every day I was like, crypto zoo, crypto zoo, crypto zoo. And, and I couldn't say anything legally. Which thing can you, can you make anything that has a tail and wings? Trusted. Not, a, not just a guy that I had trusted, a guy that billionaires had trusted. A guy that fooled the Mormon church and the New York Yankees. <laughs> and now in hindsight, it's the rice. <laughs> one plus one equals fucking two. I get, I get that. And the advisor again, that I trusted was selling against my buyers, people that actually wanted to play this game. It was like, um, it was like a mountain. It was like a mountain that, that collapsed one after the other, after the other, I, this. It was like a mountain that collapsed. <laughs> That's when you make a line of mountains. <laughs> you just teeter over each other like dominoes. Yeah, like, oh, whoops. Oh, no, the mountain again. again. No, your mountains keep collapsing. <laughs> House of mountains. God damn yeah. it. This massive forest fire would come up. I thought we put it out and then and then Wait, so now there's a forest fire in the mountain. <laughs> oh my mountain's on fire. Because they crash it to each other, guys. Oh well, my rock is on fire. <laughs> I mean that. I <laughs> it's just I, it's like this is so stupid to make fun of this, but it's just fun. We're just I mean a mountain is I would, I would go so far as to say nature's least flammable thing aside from water. <laughs> Not in and California. Your on fire. <laughs> well, when a mountain fuses with a forest. That's, oh, that's right. right yeah. That's it, a different it, game it, there. To make a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's water. It, it oh. becomes a water type. <laughs> something else would happen. And something else would happen. And, and, and then my legal team goes, yo, there's, there's, there is criminal investigation going on. It is best to stay this silent at you. this moment. Mm. And he doesn't do that. So I have another uh, question. I kind of feel like he's he's gonna need to prove that he was told to stay silent. Is that yeah. a thing you can do? Because I, I feel like it's very convenient to say I couldn't say anything. Not I was yeah. busy making tons of other projects. I can't mm -hmm. release my tax returns right now. Like that. That's mm -hmm. crap. They told it's me not to release them. I understand your point of view because I'm your friend. I actually was with you when you found out and I saw how like your, your face turned white and you slid up against the, the fridge when you found out. I, I was there. So that's why I could boldly with my chest out be like, bro, I, I watched when this guy found the news. Um, but fuck CoffeeZilla, fuck you. No, no joke. What do we do for the people that were fucked? <laughs> I fuck you and my Coffee team Jeff, Zilla. and I'd like to be <laughs> Jeff, 
<laughs> are are working. We, you both. <laughs> yeah, because it's quite. He's like, I think what he's trying to say is like, forget about you, forget about Coffee Zella. What do you do about the people who are affected? But he worded it weird. When he says <laughs> "fuck you," it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my so god. He starts with so fuck Coffee Zella, and you're like, oh, okay. Like, that was like immediate. It's, that like that was like a save almost. He was saying all this like. Uh, Hey, like the circumstances are kind of weird, and, and and there are a lot of people involved. Oh, by the way, fuck coffee, Zilla. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm not like being. <laughs> yeah. Please don't not pay me my ad rev, like please, right. sir. But it wasn't. It was Mr. A... Sir. Yeah. What, what kind? Of, what should I believe again? Yeah. I <laughs> and me. my team, Jeff, and I'd like you to sit in, Jeff. Are are working? We are at work and have been working to make Pounding. this game, and that's part of the solution. Pounding. Deliver Pounding. the fucking oh, project, shit. right? And that's never stopped. There have been massive road bumps and massive obstacles along the way. But that was always the prerogative. Coffeezilla making a series or not, the game, the game is being made. He, he just assumed we gave up on it, which is not... Everyone assumed you gave up on it. You weren't you acting it. <laughs> and you're, you hadn't spoken in your Discord. Which is not true. However, the answer is yes, George. I'm not a fucking scammer. I, 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 I have the best intentions mm -hmm. and I will, I will make this right for the people who believed in me. You know how adamant I was about fixing all of this sure. and making this oh, right. Sure. And for a year- Whoa, what? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 wait, wait, you're Who right. Never pans to reveal. It's, I think Jeff is manager. Oh, oh okay. A puff of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, he does look like an evil guy who come who puffs in from smoke. <laughs> so you wished. <laughs> you said my name three times. Interesting. You mentioned Jeff. <laughs> you were hounding. My name right? Jeff. <laughs> my, name my name Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> my name Jeff. Here. For a year, I was told I couldn't say anything. And then Malai. CoffeeZilla series came out, and I fucking called you guys, and I said, Malai. I'm making a statement. I don't give a fuck. Yep. I, I, I spent days writing this thing. Days writing this thing, figuring out how, how, I, how I could, A, poke the obvious holes in, in CoffeeZilla's def defamation and, 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 and arguments and manipulation. He said he spent days I making his seven-minute response that everyone hated so yeah. much that he deleted it. I spent days going out and buying that coffee cup to smash <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. That was too much. It took me a real long time to find suspenders <laughs> so I could do my coffee still <laughs> cosplay. They hurt so much. <laughs> ...of this story, because at the end of the day, he told a story. Some of it's true, some of it's not. I don't know what to believe from his stuff, and I don't know what not to believe. I, I found out it, stuff. What, what and, and you like, do? <laughs> I don't know what to believe. I don't know what, I might be a scammer. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm still trying to figure it out. I take it the definition till then. Dude, it's a video about <laughs> you. <laughs> like, he was I don't know if I'm Logan or Jake. I'm <laughs> Who am I? I was hounding Jeff, I think. <laughs> I, crypto Z, that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> what, Holy thing? shit, I should pay these people back. Who's the scam? <laughs> they, oh my god, these people are so upset. That guy lost 500k? <laughs> That's insane. There's that cute little British guy with the glasses. Oh, in there. oh yeah. Like, um, yeah, we lost 50. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet man. I found out things watching his series. Like, like, dude, I was at the airport um, when I watched the part where he said Jake's had stolen... Of course. Six, I was like, what? Six million dollars. I don't know if that's true or not, but, but he, we, I knew he was a bad actor, hence why we kicked him off the fucking team immediately when we found out he was only in it for the His money. prerogatives, yeah. Ding. And that's the thing. It's like the guy who they're referring to, Jake Crypto King, formerly known as Collectibles Guru. We've known oh, that, that, yeah. Yeah, we've known he's been shady for years. So the fact that like, uh, like I, so for context, mm -hmm. BB, uh, I made a video about this Pokemon box break mm -hmm. a couple years ago that the cards inside were fake. They were, I mean, they were like, um, the box had been resealed. And, and uh, Jake was the provider of that box to this okay. like, charity. Uh -huh. And we were watching it and then it came out and had him looking not good. Uh -huh. And then he saw my video and he DM'd me. And he was like, you made a very unbecoming video about me. I'm not trying to sue you, but I just think you had some very false statements. And a lot of people are coming out. It's very Donald Trump-like. Where it's like, he's like, a lot of people are coming out and they're saying, I'm not a scammer. 
And you should really revisit what you said. Well, this is so long ago that Trump was in office. Yeah. Oh. The fact that he's now like, yeah, we actually think maybe he's a bad actor. Because Logan oh also put God. him on the map. He was the one that gave him like a huge boost. Thanks so much, Cal. Ability. Yeah, and it was oh a thing God. where I didn't even ever call him a scammer. Yeah. I just said like, this looks scummy, but I don't know the truth because I'm not there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so then I asked him, hey, could you point to the actual accusations that you're claiming that I made, the statements that you're saying I made that it slandered you? And then he just kept talking in circles without ever sourcing anything of mine. And he and then he told me, <clears throat> he told me my audience was harassing him. And I was like, no shot. Like I just don't believe. Nine a million fucking years. Like like I just don't. And I was like, could you provide an example? And then like the people hating on him were pr- probably coming from elsewhere. Mm. You know what I mean? Because they didn't seem like they weren't following me. For example, yeah. like people who were commenting on his Instagram were not people who were following me. Yeah. And I was like. I don't know who these people are like these and I, I I also I made a response video and I was like look if you're going and doing that you know in my name like you know you have no place in my community blah 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 mm-hmm. and uh, but he just continued and then I made the video about him and then he just kept sending me these quippy things where he's like you guys love talking about me it's like it's good for the numbers it's like I can't like using me for clickbait the kind of the same thing yeah. that, uh, that, that he's always just saying and so it's just so funny because I've no we we've all known that, like the Pokemon community has been making jokes about Jake the the collectibles guru slash crypto king uh-huh. since two years ago mm-hmm. okay. because he is on record saying that a Bulbasaur card in PSA ten would be thirty thousand dollars by the end of the year oh my God. the end of the year being twenty twenty and uh, nothing even close to that was ever going to happen and so. Uh, and so, yeah, that was uh, my saga with him. And so we, and then even Logan, I think, came out. I don't remember this for sure. I'm pretty sure that Logan Paul said that he had distanced himself from, mm-hmm. from. He definitely did. Yeah, and he wasn't working with him anymore. And then he goes and starts this crypto thing with him. So it's like. That's weird. You so knew the already... dude was sketchy. Yeah. It was so funny, by the way, saying, yeah, I think this guy was only in it for the money. <laughs> So I don't guy think who he was, was passionate about our bad game. <laughs> <laughs> guy who was sketchy, has always been sketchy, is now currently found to be sketchy. And who fucking cares about the game? Who's <laughs> not this for the money? It's yeah. a dumb shit game. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> it's like, just, I, it's so funny because he will never say, he can never say that he knows it's a dog shit game and it's just a cash grab. But it's, if you truly believe that it's not a cash grab, you're smoking some crack, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're smoking something. There is, uh, also the reason that like, hi chat. Um, the reason that like, there's no, <laughs> thank you, baby. Um, the reason that all of these people, Jake included, anybody that gets caught out and stuff like this, the reason that their response is always, hey, you're doing it for clout and clickbait, is not only that it's like an easy repost that they think, but it's also because everything they have ever done in their life is oriented around growing their platform, getting approval, and getting money. Mm. So when Kobe Zell does this, they can't understand that, like, some... Granted, he wants to grow his platform and he doesn't do it, but because he does good work and works hard and cares about what he does, they don't understand what, like, why somebody would have journalistic integrity. They don't understand why somebody would invest their time in working hard on anything mm-hmm. that didn't have, like, the exact same return on investment. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to make this video about <clears throat> Logan because it will mm-hmm. get numbies. Mm-hmm. It's, also, it's also a thing where, like, I think Elon Musk, deal, it, like, experiences this as well. Or, like, is a, uh, like, representative of this as well is a thing where you're so insulated where everybody around you is on your payroll mm-hmm. or wants to uh, stay in your good graces mm-hmm. that they can't tell tell it like it is to you. And everyone on the outside is a hater because you've had to come up in a world where everyone hated on you. Jake and Logan Paul, like, how are they supposed to tell, like, good faith criticism from people who just hate them because of mm-hmm. all the shit that they've done in the past? And... And it's like, I don't know if they, have, I mean, like, to be completely frank, it's like they've been influencers since they were like 15, 16 years old. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't, it, I, I expect them to try to gain those skills, but I'm not surprised that they don't have them. Yeah. And what's their incentive? Yeah. I know. Oh yeah. I mean, like they're, they're richer than <laughs> us. <laughs> you can imagine. Mm-hmm. 
Logan Paul's worth like $50 million or something crazy. Oh, he's not rich in me then. Oh, okay. My bad. Well, I'll take him back. <laughs> we'll take that back. He just fucking fell apart from Zach to trying to find new devs, realizing that our first lead dev couldn't perform, and then realizing that now there's an investigation going on. But it's also, but also you have to understand that he's, it's not simple. I mean, you're, you're, he's trying to bridge the gap here between protecting his client, protecting a project that he's been a part of, you know, getting out whatever information is possible. It, I've said this a million times. The internet loves to oversimplify very fucking complex issues. Here's, it, it, on, it, top, it, on top of the complex issue that we dealt with, which were issues with people, the blockchain technology, and this is something that's brand new, and what he, what Logan ideated in his head of a really cool idea is actually somewhat <laughs> complex. Is which is, shit. by the way, far from, hard for me to swallow. <laughs> okay? And I have a and vision and an idea shot. of these things, and, and then I say, Jeff, here's what I want to make. Here's what I want to do. And then people are put in place Jump to Street did irreparable make that damage happen. to everybody. And then they found out that either A, they, that, they should get defamation intent, for that. or B, were incapable oh, of doing it. Yeah. And then shit, it really hit the fan. What do I do? What do I do? I actually have an answer. <laughs> That's the best thing you said. That's most accurate. What do I do? You're going like this after a crazy show, and the audience is going crazy. When you're bringing Prime into the table and people are drinking it, being like, how the fuck is this product this good? When you're doing these absolute, like, we're watching a superhero kill these side quests half day after day after day after day, none of these quests would be completed without your team. And when you win, we celebrate together. But what I need this team to start doing is when you guys take a dip, you got to stop pointing the fingers at each other. When all this broke, when we were in Qatar, I kind of remember this, we were in the, the spa one day. And this is just like saw... the most out of touch moment <laughs> ever when we were in when we were in Qatar at the World Cup and we were at the spa, the spa in Qatar. Love. I remember when we attended the I would say the most ethically dubious public event in the last decade. Um, I mean, when we were I was the... kicking it at the Capitol the two years ago. <laughs> we were at the the spa at the in, inside of Nancy Pelosi's office <laughs> in a desk <laughs> inside her desk. <laughs> World building is crazy right yeah. now. They just don't understand what January 6th was. Yeah. They were like, yeah, we were at that festival or whatever. It's crazy people. Are, yeah. Uh, NFT event. The pain in your... And this, like, the I'm pain saying, this in your like, eyes at the spot guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you didn't have to include that part. Like, I, I get that it's true and it's what happened. But, like, the optics of, like... Bro, when we were at the spa in Qatar, just the pain in your eyes, I saw. It wasn't you couldn't even enjoy the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even enjoy your box seats next to Elon Musk and like uh, the, the Proud Boys or whoever was there. <laughs> Who was that guy? Who was, was, was there? the guy that started Vice? Was he all on? Oh yeah, Gavin, he was whatever. there, Gavin McGinnis. But then like, who did Elon Musk take a picture with that people were like, rut row? Oh, it was Jared Kushner. Oh yeah. <laughs> not going to turn into a fucking victim thing. I just want to point this out. I saw this pain in your face, bro, and this, like, emptiness in your fucking eyes when, when all this was breaking. And I remember <laughs> thinking myself... Going. He's not talking about the event. He's going, I realized you're a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> I looked into your eyes for the first time, and I saw that there was nothing there. I saw there was nothing there. Except could, for dollar signs? I could see the soul at the corner of your eyes. It was like a cartoon, <laughs> and I was like, That's, I thought yeah. that was a bit. I was looking at you and I realized that uh, time's a flat circle. Does that make sense? While we were at the spa. The world is flat. I was thinking, <laughs> I realized that while we were hanging, I think we were kicking it at the spa, actually, at the time. The World Cup. That's what the spa is. A stadium. <laughs> it, was really spa. Really it was really hot there. It was really hot. Yeah. He just needs another definition. Do you remember the loud spa? <laughs> the, the loud spa with, with the, uh, that big soccer game happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of <in> the way. <laughs> All those <little> guys. <laughs> Been through a couple things, very minor in comparison to the ones you've gone through and are going through now, where I was railroaded by the internet on something that just simply wasn't true. I've been through a, a, a chunk of shit in my life, but I, I honestly don't know if I recall feeling like that. The feeling of not being able to say, yo, this is not what happened, you guys have. Isn't railroading a different thing? 
Like I think maybe I'm, he means railed. <laughs> I, I don't Rail, know. Rail, railroaded is like a different, I, I, a different turn of phrase. Ra- railing is that that you can either burn the animal or you can rail it. <laughs> <laughs> now what's railroading though? That is... I have it wrong. Rail. Define scam. <laughs> Some uh, pressing someone mm. into doing something by rushing or coercing. Oh, okay, okay. But I don't think that's what he means. I think he means being railed. railed. I, by the way, did he just say that he's been through a lot of stuff, but it does not include not being allowed to say something? That sounded like what he just described, but I've never, never been through anything like that. No. Oh, not being able this to say exactly what I wanted all the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oof. I think rough. just that, I think he was referring to the backlash that Logan is experiencing. Even though you and everyone know, around you knows that you're being fucked and being railroaded by a cat. He was using it wrong. He was using it wrong. He is using it wrong. You're being breeded (laughs) and turned into a hybrid. (laughs) And burned (laughs) out. It's one of the most painful fucking things in the entire world. It's it's where where terrible. where coffee. Fl- One of the most painful things in the entire world. Yeah, it's a little bit so like funny. I get you can experience pain, but also check yourself. Context, context. We're in the hot tub at, in guitar or whatever. I remember I was uh, sitting on the king's lap, and I remember that yeah. it was like um, oh it was kind of balmy and humid, and I thought wow I'm gonna kill the entire world. Yeah, <laughs> fucked up is by targeting me as some malicious, evil supervillain. If he had told this story objectively and told the story without without vilifying me... <laughs> this is like... Dude, dude, everything in front of him is getting blown yeah. back. <laughs> Stop! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Take this really fucking hard on the chin. Learn from your mistakes. Learn that you have to... I mean, I mean George. We did. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. So it's, 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 it's kind of like the Johnny Depp thing. Like he had to yes, kind of eat shit. Of hold on, wait, hold on, wait. hold on. It's like the Johnny what Depp thing. It's like the Johnny Depp thing. <laughs> no, I know. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of like the Johnny Depp thing. Like he had to kind of eat shit for a long time until the truth came out. And so right now you have to go into this either court, but regardless, the jury is the audience. Yep. And so I'm trying to bridge that way to show your reality. And your reality is the same dude that would turn to me and drop a $500,000 deal with somebody because he goes, I don't eat fast food. I'm not promoting fast food. So if you were money hungry, you wouldn't give a fuck if it was heart hurting anybody. You dog, would take dog, the money. Dog. It is shocking to me that motherfuckers think I'm out here in Puerto Rico with a cork board, <laughs> tax, <laughs> string, graphic images going, here's how we're going to scam. <laughs> this is how I want to make my million dollars this time, motherfucker. No, s- but like literally, we saw that though. Except for it's a slack. It's yeah, a slack it's, non, it's non-physical, I guess. If yeah, that's your point. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like no, I actually didn't think that. I thought what Coffee implied when he showed the screenshots of, <laughs> yeah. you know, the conversations he were Dude, having. I was kind of imagining that. It like, is absurd to me that you think I own a cork board. <laughs> Are you crazy? I do this on. <laughs> I use Google Docs, bro. Yeah. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of like, you know, this was a minor thing in the grand scheme of Logan Paul, but the Puerto Rico stuff that came up where he like came on Philip DeFranco Mm -hmm. and, um, and like, he was like, I don't know what they want me to do. And then like native Puerto Rican people were like, don't be here. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like we don't agree with the, and he's like, no, but there's like a, there's like a legal thing with the government that like lets me like move here. Yeah. And and not pay taxes, and they're like, yeah, we don't like that about the government. Like it's sure. like, so that's why we're opposed to you. You know what I mean? Like literally, just don't go. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm not even. Sounds like it. a. It's, it's sounds gonna, like a. <laughs> no, it sounds like a. Gonna 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 clip. Clip. It's gonna Logan <laughs> Paul admits to everything. Bro, 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 said. bro Jake, Jake. I was talking to Jake about this uh, oh. over Christmas break. I'm glad I got some time to spend with my brother. And he's like, I was like, are you aware of 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 what's happening right now? And he goes. Dude, I skipped past the video. It's like, I know you didn't fucking scam anyone. And I go, yeah, but like, everyone thinks I did. Well, this is what I see, and I could be completely wrong. 
Does Jake Paul have a scamometer? I don't think so. Isn't he also scamming? Hey, you think I'm lying? I asked reputable source Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah, you like Jake Paul has like multiple crypto rug pulls under his belt as well, doesn't he? And I, it's like I didn't know that. Uh, but at the very least, it's not like notoriously honest yeah. or insightful. Or at the very least, he, he gets he... punched in the head now. That's like the main <laughs> thing he does. You like, listen to him. Yeah. Wrong. Not reliable. Uh, Biting off more than you chew is kind of oh yeah. Jake Paul did that Pokemon ripoff. Mm -hmm. Don't do so. I don't. I don't. I don't expect you to stop doing what your nature is to do, and you want Why to you? Uh, <laughs> see that new country that's not there or build that thing that's not there. The only thing that would just make a tweak of a difference is you're so creative that you're like, here's the idea, here's the process, here's the vision. Now this person's gonna do this, person's gonna do this, I'm gonna move on, and you're a creative. So all I would say is now is just like like those de the dev team. Pick one person that you're, is your right hand and make sure that that person is every day. If this guy shits or eats a sandwich at lunch, I want to fucking know. I mean, if he George. shits at lunch, <laughs> Let me know. if he shits a sandwich, <laughs> I do not want to know about that. Anyway, I'll skip that info. It, it's part of oh the reason God. originals work so well. Mm. We found the guy. And he's fucking team. good. And we found a team that we can actually rely Trust, on to get things most done. Important. And, then, and then also that was a learning process for me because Originals is a relatively easy. Originals is the thing that he did where he um, released Polaroid pictures that he took as yeah. NFTs. Dude, that's what I'm saying. One picture goes so live a day. Course. It's a 24 hour auction. The next <laughs> goes up. This thing took months to build and there were so many delays and. And I was frustrated with, with the build. But, but me, again. Holy oh, fucking goodness. shit. I remember ESPN was down the one time we were trying to watch like, a, like one, of the big, it. one of the biggest fights ever. No. What? Tennis. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh the, the, uh, it was open. was open. ESPN was down. ESPN Plus or whatever the fuck. And Jeff goes, hey, just so you know, this is ESPN. It's one of the biggest uh, content syndication organizations in the world. And they don't even have this shit down. But we also here don't, we we are. also don't know whether it was the tech that was sending it into ESPN or was it ESPN. The point is, tech is hard. Tech is hard. I I, I realized yeah, that right, and learned yeah, that right, the right, hard right, way. What so is this conversation? Really and so yeah, I guess literally Logan Paul said one time a website I wanted to use didn't work so good, and then I was like, wow, technology is difficult. Technology is really really hard. And then it's they like, spiraled into ESPN. I'd, yeah, I'd better hire too many people for my team. That's like <laughs> obviously just a, a laundering and accountability scam. Yeah. Like. If I have a team of nine people, then nine different people could be blamed. Oh my God. That's so obviously what it is, by the way. Mm -hmm. Seven months of work with a team of eight or whatever. No fucking universe. You should, Ten artists. Yeah. You should, yeah, no way. No shot. To, to kind of answer your question, I'm a bit more, a, a lot more cognizant now of exactly how hard it is to make the stupid little visions that I have in my head come to life. Mm. Okay, so wrap, wrapping this up for at least, I think, right? For now. <laughs> please stop digging yourself deeper. <laughs> stop, please stop, please stop. Because I'm just curious what else is there's going to be about this, like where this goes, where the story goes, once it's been determined that there was not malintent, a scam did not take place. There was, there was a misfire or some sort of you know, malpractice on behalf of some of the people involved in the project who will be held accountable, and there is a plan moving forward. Does it sound like those are the four main pillars of what's happening here? Exactly. I would say there's been a plan moving forward. A roadmap. Yeah. Uh, CoffeeZilla happened to make this series... And, and, in the middle of it. And, and, now, and now it appears reactionary, but it's, this has been happening. So that's where the defama defamation piece comes into play, which is, is, is number five um, and six. We've given Zilla, fuck, part four. Um, he's probably going to milk the shit out of this. Uh, he's probably going to talk to more, more people who lost money. Um, so, this and, is, <laughs> so this is... Okay. Oh, so no. this was a thing um, that he did where he, where he said... Someone addressed this already. Um, but the fact that he's like, he's going to milk this. He's going to talk to more people who lost money. Oh, you mean victims yeah. <laughs> of the scam? 
He's going to talk to more primary sources <laughs> yeah. or like whatever that. Yeah, are. whatever those are. He's going to reach out to me for comment and I'll ignore it. Yeah. And I'll write him back some weird And he's going to talk to people who hate me because I <laughs> scammed them. He's like, weird that you will talk to all these people that don't like me. It's like, well, you scammed them. He also. wanted to contact me, so he texted me. <laughs> And I have to read Pretty it? Pretty weird that he texted me, actually. My manager wasn't weird. there to help me read it. <laughs> Part six is the more he says and the more he continues to spread this misinformation that this was any sort of con or scam, the more I have for the lawsuit that I am filing. So the defamation lawsuit. That is fucking happening because this is wrong. This it's is like he keeps saying it's fucking happening. Every lawyer on YouTube, not that YouTube... I mean, hey, they're lawyers. Yeah. But all the YouTube lawyers are like... It is such a bad idea to to sue him for defamation because one, it's really hard if you're a public figure. Mm-hmm. Two, um, yeah, they're a journalist. Yeah, two, they're a journalist. Uh, three, Logan Paul has uh, already had things that affect his uh, public perception because of the bad things that he's done in the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then it also means not. I'm not a lawyer, by the way. I'm kind of parroting stuff that I've not after heard. what you did. Um, not after what I not anymore. I've been disbarred. Um, but thirdly, fourthly, or whatever is a, a discovery. In which case, there's they would have to kind of a lot of stuff <laughs> would have to come out, you know. Um, and so they probably wouldn't want that, especially given like the screenshots that we've seen. If those are to be believed, famous commentary YouTuber Legal Eagle, the very same. Yeah. Hey, a uh, 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 member of our table at the streamies. Yeah, I, who that's just actually kept I think what they're referencing to. <laughs> he was such a good mingler. We, he kept losing him for extended periods of time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just left after they they kind of blew through our award. Wrong. And there's a reason. There's a reason he won't come on this show. And he knows it's because he the can't lie to me with his court. chest out oh, while sitting shit. in front of him. There's so much to in saying that. You are a scammer. Fuck. You are. A dog, dog. What I'm, about the people that say like, why don't you just do it live on his platform? I'm not, Even, I, 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 ain't go, I am not feeding into this anymore on his shit mm. because no, he, he didn't say do it on his platform. He said all. co-stream. Right. Neither platform. Right. Was it, neither was a, platform. it was a neutral thing. Yeah, right? it was a neutral. Thing. I don't think Kofi's ever streams. No, no. <laughs> that's like a his platform. Do you mean a video? Or yeah, yeah. A I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna show up in one of his research video essays. <laughs> I'm not going to write I'm not going to stoop to that level. <laughs> he did not change the course of my direction at all. He happened to make this series. It's not changing what we have been doing and are doing mm. behind the scenes. Yeah. The, the, what, he, what he did do, what he did do. Is I will, his. to the day I die, never believe that he was working on this behind the scenes. And that he didn't just resume working on it. He's as soon as like. It. As soon as Coffee Zola started talking about this, I yeah. don't think he was ever working on anything. <laughs> that's not like that'd be like if this was about his book. Like he wrote a book and he's like, it's ghostwritten, and then that's he's so fighting for it's like he you're, slapped his name on it. You're and a stuff. YouTuber, of course it's fucking right. ghostwritten. Right. Of course this isn't real. It's fine. Yeah, like it's not. <laughs> you can he's set this up, put your name on it, and I won't judge you for being disengaged. Yeah. Right. This, this is a way more financially valuable use of your time than drawing the dog that's also a monkey or whatever. Also, I do think that, um, so when he said Coffee's video didn't change his direction at all, someone said that that could, you know, affect their ability to claim damages. I do think that if he was really suing, talking at length on a podcast about the thing is probably not what He's trying to win over the court of public opinion. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? He's just waiting for everybody to forget. I like would I will, you know, eat my sock if a lawsuit actually happens. Um, but I won't actually do that because I'm a liar and a scammer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check scam, you. define scam. Yeah. Define sock. Yeah. Define Webster's sock. dictionary defines sock as a delicious treat. For me. <laughs> Something you like. Speak about it. Subathon. And, I, and I'm actually gifts. grateful for that. I was about to say this is kind of this is kind of like a good I, light I, I'm because actually, now I'm actually grateful for that. I yeah. do I do thank Coffeezilla for 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 shining a light on what even he highlighted and made in his years worth of research and a three part series is that this situation is so fucked, so beyond fucked. You could make an entire documentary out of it. In fact, he did. But now so I'm in a place point? where I, I actually do have to have to thank him for shining light on this. He just messed up by pointing the finger. Yeah, this is a weird conclusion. This is a weird conclusion. Listen to this. I have to thank him for shining light on this. He just messed up by pointing the finger 100% at me. He didn't and saying that. that there was any sort of fraud or scam taking place intentionally. Not Absolutely. even taking place intentionally, just taking place on my behalf. Why did you block him on Twitter? It's like a little gnat. 
It's like a little fucking annoying. That and it bothers me. And apparently they did some edits. Like some of the top comments here. Uh-huh. There's hard cuts. Yeah, there's hard cuts where like um I mean, I actually I don't know why I looked at the comments. I think they deleted a lot of the uh-huh. um <laughs> giving coffee shade for having a Patreon while Logan's saying in a room where damn near everything and everyone and everything is covered in prime logo. <laughs> it's the next level insanity. <laughs> Um, he won. He won. He won. He got to it, bro. He's the mo- he's the most formidable opponent I've had. I'm not kidding. That's, that's good. Out of all my exactly. fights, that's that the Japan. worst. <laughs> twist the truth just the way he wants to get his people to believe a certain thing. He's good. I it's, think it's it's it's, he, it's marketing in a he way hiding behind the veil of. <laughs> I don't make money. It's the heart of the scam. I'm doing God's work. I'm doing justice. By the way, go sign up to my Patreon. Go join my Patreon. We're gonna we're gonna uh, see the behind the scenes of my ten million dollar studio. Cool it on the Patreon. (laughs) Wait, so this is weird. Okay, so I don't know. Like Logan Paul, for all the things he can do, comedy I do not think is one of them. Mm. So this bit about the ten million dollar studio, I'm having trouble like parsing what his goal in. The way he acts in this moment it is. Uh, you see the behind the scenes of my $10 million studio. $10 million studio? You got $10 million? Where did that money come from? <laughs> How, mm, I don't think so. What do you mean? Al? I, think, I think he might. Did the, someone, anyone say it was a $10 million? No, it's a joke in every CoffeeZilla video. He just says my $10 million studio, and it's a green screened like 3D generated oh, studio yeah and he works with 3d right. artists to like make it seem like uh it's a sure. it, and it's a bit it's a bit that's you know uh years old at this point yeah and i genuinely can't tell if logan believes he's being serious he's saying that sarcastic. He re- oh or he rented it. like because then mike so. goes i think he's no. saying it sarcastic. i think i think he might be saying that sarcastically. He re- or he rented oh my god is he explaining so, so you're saying he so you're saying he embellished or like rounded up a number? No, I think he number? just says it sarcastically. Like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, don't, 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 don't try and save it. Don't try and save it. Don't try and save it. Because it's, yeah. He did not know it was a joke. Yeah, he it's like, know. it's such a weird. That's right. He's trying to save he, face. He, and then he tries to swag it out. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, because it, it, it. Oh my it, God. It, it, in, a, in a bad way. <laughs> jo- joking, lying. So he only has $9 million. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to save face. So it's only an eight and a half. Well, million. Well, so that was a scam. Because to Logan, also, he doesn't understand what, like, how money is. Like, what's a normal amount? Yeah. He's like, oh, he's lower middle class? $9 million? Yeah. Yes. Oh. It's a joke. It's, but it's, it's in his descriptions on his Patreon, which I joined. He kicked me off though. He refunded her. <laughs> he refunded, he refunded, he refunded his money. It's actually funny. He said he said he, he kicked me off, and he said he had a couple zingers on Twitter. He, he kicked me off. It was like who knows where that money came from. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You got washed. You've been getting washed. Me. He smoked me. He smoked washed me. on yeah, Twitter. He, I'm telling you, he's fucking but also, good. He's a very formidable opponent. Yeah, he's, he's if good. I were him, and I didn't like me in the same way that he doesn't like me, and and also realizes how much he can gain. From putting me in his in his thumbnail and his title, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Okay, wait, Question. no, look, choose one. <laughs> Either he doesn't like you, and that's the motivation, or it's for thumbnail and clicks. Yeah, or it's or it's correct and <laughs> backed up backed right. up by data and he's scamming. Who's to say allegedly? Who knows? Based on facts and information. Apparently, he's all wrong. There's, it doesn't need to be both. And those things like don't work mm, together mm. because there's no, you don't manipulatively put a clickbaity thing in your thumbnail because you actually do really believe it. Right. That's literally the definition of clickbait is you don't yeah. really believe it. It's like insincere. Yeah. So either he hates you for some reason you've never confirmed. Uh-huh. Do you think he's like a big, like he was really insulted by the Japan, the Japan stuff? Is that yeah. like, what do you think the thing is? It's because he can't think critically. He's, <laughs> he's doing the someone said he's doing the Austin McBroom. I got scammed along with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, we're all together, actually, high school musical style. And I, and and just to bring this up because I think it's a it's a good transition point. Regardless of how strong his point was, or some of the points he made, or how he was able to spin it, whatever you want to say, might be right or whatever. Right or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. There there might be right or whatever. Is always we might be scammers. and will always be an army that is ready for Logan Paul to make a minor mistake. I'm his ride or die. Now. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying that like there's going to be people to jump on a minor mistake. This is not a minor mistake, though. No. I, I don't think this is a minor mistake. It was so timely and convenient. 
that the three part series dropped when you were already boiling in an unholy baptism of shit because of what you had said on the show before it. Let me tell you something. And so I wanna, I wanna t- change gears a little bit. <laughs> well, I thought it would be a long project <laughs> to re- knowing that in about a year from now, so if I start my research now, oh. I'll be able to release it when he gets in trouble. I think, I think yeah, because I think he's saying that he was boiling in, it's really interesting to see how they characterize this because yeah. like he's referring to the, the thing with George about the religion stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I like, I didn't think that that was, that big of a deal but well, i guess it, it, it is not big enough of a deal for it to be correlated to him releasing something <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Year. It's, unless he finished it months ago and was like i need an event to happen before yeah. i can release this video about logan paul yeah this guy and and and, oh, and, and no. get ready to quote because- logan paul Present thyself. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to... Well, you, were, well, you very much were our, our Germany right now fighting a, a, a two-prong battle. I mean, you, you've, you've got your battle in, in, in Africa and Russia, and you've got a different front where you're fighting for... for Jeff, when you make that face at me when I'm saying stuff, it's strange to me. Actually, do you have anything else to say about try, crypto, Zoom? Get out of here. <laughs> 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 Jeff is like, oh, oh, my God, like it here. We're all being out of Russia. Do you know what a two-front two two front war. Front war is? Yeah. Am I speaking a different language? I just was... What? Okay. I'm, ki- I'm kidding. Sorry. I was joking. Sorry. I'm, no, actually, I'm sorry. Why was, did you? I, I, didn't, I, was, did, just, I was trying did, to did, understand did, what he was talking about. Did, uh, <laughs> seeds hot, huh? Did, uh, okay, let's dive in. Okay. Look, here's what happened. So, yeah, you, you were already, I mean, <laughs> the scum of the internet at that point before no. this even came out. You were trash. It was a wrap. I'll tell you why. If, if, if you didn't know, you probably, you probably do. Um, <clears throat> made some, I made some pretty, uh, he's going to, pretty cry. out of line comments cry. to George about George's beliefs. And I said, Where'd Jeff go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's gone again. Uh, 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 was he ever real? <laughs> <laughs> he was confused about the statement and left. Mike killed him. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. He was a German soldier. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. I want to see if they said anything.